I want you to start paying attention to this. I don't have a lot of time this morning to share this with you, but one of the most powerful strategies you will ever endeavor with your prospects is something called the Hitchcock effect. And I know some of you are thinking, well, I haven't heard of the Hitchcock effect before. Well, the reason you haven't heard of the Hitchcock effect before is because I coined the phrase, the Hitchcock effect. But one of the best trainers in this industry today would be Alfred Hitchcock. Alfred Hitchcock. How many of you have ever watched Alfred Hitchcock movies? How many of you, does everybody know who he is, first of all? Yes? Terrific. Alfred Hitchcock was one of the best movie makers of our time. But let me tell you the secret that he brings to our business for us. Alfred Hitchcock understood the power of the imagination. You see, today when they make a movie and they want to cut an arm off or they want to do something that's bloody and gory, what do they do? They cut it off, you watch the blood go all over everything, don't you? And you go, ooh! You know what Alfred Hitchcock did? He never showed blood. He never showed anybody being murdered. He never showed anybody being killed. Do you know how he did it? The power of the what? Imagination. Of course, the infamous and most famous scene of all is the shower curtain. And all they showed was the what? Did they show anybody being killed? They showed a what? A shadow. You see, ladies and gentlemen, if you will employ the power of imagination with your customers by letting them respond instead of feeling like you must fill the air with words at all times. Yes, we feel like we must fill the air with words at all times, and it's not necessary. You see, if you'll simply just take a breath and begin to listen with your eyes and speak with your face, you'll take on a whole new dimension of selling. A whole new dimension of selling that will allow the customers to literally sell themselves and close themselves. How does that sound to you? How would you like to get out of the high pressure business and move into the low pressure business where the customers sell themselves? Because see, once you employ the power of imagination, it becomes possible. Let me give you a quick example of using the power of imagination in closing. How many of you have ever had a customer come in the door, look, you've spent an hour or so with them, and they say, we want to think about it and go home, and three or four days later, or a week later, or two weeks later, they come back, and they've picked out a home, and they said, we're ready, we want that home that we looked at a few weeks ago with you, and you had the distinct pleasure of getting to say, it's already sold. Now, You've had that happen, haven't you? Has everybody had that happen where somebody's come back? And you know, our first instinct to say, oh, it's already sold, gosh. While inside you're going, yeah, oh, I've been wanting to say that all week. It's already sold. You know you have. Here's how you let the imagination work for you. Next time you have that opportunity, and by the way, when you start employing more effective closing skills and more powerful closing strategies, you will close more sales. Next time they come in, I want you to do this. When they say, I want it, and it's one that's already been taken, all you say is you just look at them and say, oh, I am so sorry. And they're going to look at you and say, what do you mean you're sorry? Well, what do you think I mean? You've already sold it? Ladies and gentlemen, which do you think is more powerful? For you to say, I've already sold it, or for them to say, it's sold? Which do you think? When it comes out of their mouth, but here's the trick, you have to shut up and use the power of imagination here.